What's up, guys? My name is Gondola, and we're here today playing Incoherence. Here it is. I don't know nothing about it. Mild nudity. Holy <laughs> She's dead. She's fucking <laughs> dead. Oh, my God. That's pretty coherent. Hey yo! Oh damn! F I'm gonna censor that in post. I hope I don't get in trouble. I need to get dressed. Yeah, you do. What's the fuck? Oh no, pause! No pause, guys. There's no pause. It's a pretty HD TV. In my house? Why is my house locked? Pills. I rather sm prescribe drugs. I'd rather smoke. My therapist is not called yet. It's an old TV. Damn, bro. Oh, okay. So you'll smoke instead of taking your prescription meds, but you won't have a drink? Whatever. No need for the keys yet. Not important for now. That oh, was it in here. Is this how I get dressed? Sounds like it. Now we wait for the call. Let's turn it up over here. Oh yeah, that is uncomfortably loud. I swear to goodness, if my little click cracks. Oh, that is coming through on the audio, isn't it? I just hope it doesn't completely ruin it. All right, so now I'm dressed. Oh, the call, the call, the call. Doctor, yes, Doctor Calkins, I'm on my way. Okay, so this is my house, not like a hotel. They really decorated it like this? Alright. Okay. Keys. Hey, yo! What kind of doctor is in a hotel near me? Can't go that way. On the spooky ass corridor. Oh no, this is just one of those efficient light sources, huh? Where it's like, you know, turns on as you get out of the corridor. Damn, son, you're tall as fuck! Bro, it's like eight feet tall! Excuse me, dude? He's got a high deaf ass face. Knock, knock, knock. Did you know there's a fucking giant outside your window? Why did she have to book a hotel room? Tragic circus. Okay. Can you tell me once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for the... So I own the whole hotel? That's kind of badass. Uh, every night I had the same nightmare about it. It was torture for me. That's a spooky ass. Wait, do you have, you have family photos at this hotel? You brought those with you? Lucky enough to get some money from an employee. Just for now, I don't have to worry about paying the rent. I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Okay. So, rent is, or, you know, hotel is way more. But anyway. Okay, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? Well, it's only been a couple of weeks, dude. Chill the fuck out. Damn. Yeah, I had a terrible fucking therapist. They're very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. <coughs> real. Anyway. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does the voice tell you to... You wanna hear that, or was it just me? It's very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to... To kill someone. Oh! To kill? Who? Whom? Whom? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I, I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister, and she is so real, but there's something off about her. Something sinister about her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in the room right now? I don't know, is it that crazy lady? Ah! 
Fuck. I knew it was coming too. Head hurts, medication is not helping at all. I'm not taking the medication. We established that. I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. I need you just stay alert for all times. I'll prescribe something for the headache. Will we get it three days? Try to do the medication technique. Meditation. It means more than you can imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. Jesus fucking Christ, that spooked the shit out of me. Uh, I should go to my room. I forgot what my room was. Down here, ain't it? It's an old ass man. What's up, Gramps? Hey, this TV ain't working. This TV won't show me the news. <coughs> All right. Remember what room I was in? There's a spooky bitch. Is that my? Is that my? Is that a photo of a fart? No. Oh, there's my sister. It's a little spooky. What is that on the table? Yeah, who folded my fucking clothes for another one? Dear Miss Anderson, Ms. Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well. I want to extend our appreciation for choosing the Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. There are multiple issues that require immediate attention. We received multiple complaints from loud banging noises and an unpleasant odor. I'd just be fucking the nastiest bitches in here, dude. Just loud and it's just Dinky! Anyway, I was very immature. Very immature. Very immature. Uh, to ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our guests, we kind of request you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. That's the same thing twice. The specific issue of concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation on this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stays at our hotel. Uh, Alright. Whatever! I should put this clothes in my closet. This <laughs> my block of clothes. Somehow, I am tired. I should lay down. Wait, so this is my bathroom. Why is it locked? Who's in my bathroom? Take the meds, you fucking... Who is knocking? Can't they leave me alone? You stink. You smell bad. You are smelly. Who is knocking? Excuse me. Hello? I fucking hate that. I should close that. That's it. That's all she's got to say. Fuck this. Woo, you spooky bitch. You slag. Ooh. What the fuck? Ow. Oh, is that why? I'm not at a hotel. I'm at a fucking psych ward. Oh, I can't turn it off. Why? Oh, spooky. Blup, blup. Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. You learned too many fucking problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who's trying to break free from all of this. Unlike me, a drug... Wait, so who's the drug addict? And then what's this? I don't know which button it is to interact. Is it E or click? It's, I still don't know. Ah, we got like a little looping thing going on. Now you don't want any Minecraft snacks? Bloop, bloop. I don't like this, actually. I've decided. I don't like this. It has come to my attention that I do not like this. I don't like playing scary games. Why do I do this? Okay. Can I go anywhere? I'm sorry, I know I'm just being silent right now, but I can't seem to interact with anything. Oh, I'm just fucking stupid. 
Every day is the same loop. I go to the hospital, get some medication, try to be better self. Yeah. What's the point? My sister doesn't give a shit. I might die tomorrow. She wouldn't even remember. Okay. Alright, so I gotta. I don't let me not find the note this time. This is mildly unnerving. Pretty short, nothing to value in broken things. Maybe if my sister was interested, at least wants to be curious. All I could do is hope for the best bullshit phrase. Okay. Also, if your medical history is short, isn't that a good thing? Alright, is there another note? Did I miss something? Alright, now I'm not even. Ew. Ew, that was. Oh, I got. I was flicking through that. It sounded like. like <laughs> Why is that noise so unnerving? It's right in my fucking ear holes. Slapped it down. Alright, uh, this blank. Alcohol and cannabis withdrawal? Dog. I don't know what cannabis withdrawal is, but I, I don't think it's that serious. <laughs> oh no, I can't get out of my cheese. Alright, uh, single, blah blah, a woman, bipolar, and other something dependents. Admitted with symptoms of depression, including. C-A-H uh, voices telling her to hurt herself. She's done the outpatient and wants to change her life this time. That's not medically necessary to know. Referral papers reviews to show some readers are doing a physical exam. Okay. Cool, I guess. Can I leave now? I didn't expect to get a drugs is bad message from this. Oh, what if we're gonna get jump scared here? Come on then, you spooky bitch! No gat to speak of. Wow. Oh, okay. Shit, the battery died. Now what? I don't fucking know. I get jump scared after I read this note. Do you feel it now? Can you fix the broke? Can you feel my love? Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, Chad. Um, you better be what I needed. You made a promise. You're always going to be with me. Go back, go back, and end this. Ooh. Woo! What? Huh? Spooky. He's not going to react to that. I should check on my sister first. Ugh. Oh, that's not fun. That's that's not funny. You gonna jump scare me now? That's not funny. Yep, we're doing that, dog. I don't know what you want from me. You wanna flush the toilet? Rubber dumps, running in the tub, running up on a Saturday night. All right, uh, this was a bit more morbid than I anticipated. That that wasn't very funny. <laughs> that wasn't um, a funny ending, you know. I can't seem to do anything. Well, oh, all right, damn. Oh, oh, okay. They just did a little, a little, and I was like, you know. <laughs> okay, well, that's sad. Um, yeah, if you struggle with stuff, get help, I guess. Reach out to your family members. Well, that was a bit of a morbid way to start, don't we think? Yeah, baby, compliment this one!